Teacher Ray here. I'm back to answer another of your Hello Group class teaching questions. Yay! <laughs> I've mentioned gamification before, and will likely mention it again, and again, and again, including in this episode. <laughs> Simply put, gamification is a method of turning non-gaming tasks into a game. Here's the question for this episode. What are some good games to engage a boy who is not willing to speak in class and seems to be always working on something? When I ask what he's doing, he says nothing. This student seems to need some encouragement to participate, particularly in the verbal tasks. This is where gamification comes in. Now, this particular problem might not be solved by simply incorporating some game breaks into the lesson. After all, the student might be happy to speak during the game and then go right back to not participating for the parts of the lesson that don't include a game element. There are a couple of ways to solve that particular problem. One way is to gamify every verbal task in the lesson. This can be as simple as rolling a die or spinning a wheel that rewards each task. You can use secondary rewards or the magic stars provided by the AC, or maybe a combination of both. The idea here is that the reward adds an element of gameplay through chance. It's also fairly quick, which is always a good thing. I created a variety of digital spinners for my cohorts, like this one. Mm -hmm. The best thing with these spinners is that they're rigged. Look, see how it says one star? <laughs> one star is where it'll land. <laughs> Shh, don't tell the students. Anyway, you can find these spinners in my shared Google Drive folder, linked below this video. <laughs> Another way to encourage participation in verbal tasks is to have students earn the gameplay. This is probably best done with a secondary point system. So maybe you have a, a you know, just a whiteboard and you could sort of like have the students' names. And every time they do, they get one point, okay? Every time they participate, right? So then, every time a student participates in a verbal task, such as pronunciation practice, reading, or answering a question, they earn that point. When it comes time for the game, those points determine something to do with that game. Maybe the points determine how many times each student gets to play. For example, five points equals one turn. Now, we want to be careful with this. Um, we want to make sure that every student gets at least one turn. So maybe every 10 points would earn an extra turn. Hmm. <laughs> well, you decide. Think about it. What will work best with your students? We can keep track of these points on a whiteboard, like I said, or even a piece of paper, right? You could even use small magnets or stickers. It would be great if they could be displayed somewhere where your students can see them throughout the lesson as that, as that little bit of extra incentive to talk when we ask them to. The game itself isn't really important as long as it allows for multiple turns, right? Oh. It should also relate to the lesson objectives. <laughs> yeah, of course. If you would like some game ideas, check out some previous Ask Teacher Ray episodes that feature games and gamification. Or come up with your own game. Your own scoring system. Don't be afraid to get creative. Want to learn more about teacher creativity? and how it increases student engagement? Check out my Howell Homeroom blog article, Three Ways Teacher Creativity 
can enhance online students' experiences. Linked below this video. Now it's time for a pop. <laughs> to summarize, increasing student participation in verbal tasks can be accomplished through games of chance or by earning extra turns for other games. As Hawo GC teachers, we all want our students to speak. The more, the better. <laughs> Because the more our students practice using the language, the more fluent they become. So I want to thank this teacher for submitting such a valuable question. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you have a question about getting students talking? Gamification? Or any other question related to how OGC teaching? Click on the survey link below this video to submit your question to Ask Teacher Ray. <laughs> See you next time. Goodbye. Reading very well that time, and I heard very good.